Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I, let's try that again. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. <laughs> Welcome to the City of Brockton's annual Arbor Day celebration. The teachers, staff, and students at Plouffe Academy are indeed honored and delighted to see so many distinguished guests and visitors join together for this special occasion. First and foremost, we have the Mayor of Brockton, the Honorable Bill Carpenter. And we have Ms. Claire Cronin, State Representative for Brockton and her assistant, Ms. Amelia Ribello. Our wonderful Deputy Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Michael Thomas. And our Ward 5 School Committee member, Ms. Judy Sullivan. We also have with us Ms. Pamela Gurley from the Planning Department. Mr. Nick Giaquentis, the Deputy Chief of Staff at the Mayor's Office. <laughs> Mr. Michael Simmons, the Brockton Community Access. He's hiding there behind his camera. We have Ms. Michelle Bolton, our Communications Director for Brockton Public Schools. And way in the back, we have the DCR Park Crew, who is going to help us today um, for the Arbor Day celebration. Give them a nice round of applause for their good hard work. And finally, a huge acknowledgement of our hardworking and dedicated teachers and staff. Please stand up, teachers and staff. Especially Mr. Fedaski, Mr. Forts, and Mr. Westcott. And last, but certainly never least, our heartfelt recognition to all of our wonderful students who keep us young at heart. Please stand up, students. would like to ask everyone to please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. The flag is over here. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for God Bless America, sung by Mrs. Joyce's students and accompanied by Ms. Michelle Sennett. That was wonderful. 
Thank you so much for getting our program off to a great start. Please be seated. Arbor Day is such a unique celebration. Here we are gathered together to recognize and honor the values and echo contribution of trees. And truth be told, for all of us, all we really have to do is recall with great fondness those special moments in our lives which involved a tree. We all climbed up a tree, swung from its gnarled branches, waited in anticipation for its first green buds of spring, picked its sweet apples, raked its leaves, and then jumped into the highest of piles rested in its shade and pondered great thoughts while gazing upward, wondering at its majesty and beauty and asking ourselves, if only this tree could talk, what would it say? And this is what a tree would share with all of us. Advice from a tree by writer and imagineer Ian Shamir. Dear friend, stand tall and proud. Sink your roots deeply into the earth. Reflect the light of a greater source. Think long term. Go out on a limb. Remember your place among all living things. Embrace with joy the changing seasons. Seek nourishment from the good things in life. Be content with your natural beauty. Drink plenty of water. Be flexible, remember your roots. Branch out with endless possibility and a greater sense of purpose, and enjoy the view. Thank you. At this time, I would like to invite Ms. Schuler's class for their Arbor Day acrostic poem. That was awesome. Thank you so much. That was beautiful. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome the mayor of Brockton, Mr. Bill Carpenter. Well, thank you, Ms. Ness Ryler. It's great to be back here at uh, Pluff. Um, I go back a long way with this school. Two of my children attended here. My daughter Delaney had Miss Nesrala, so you're all very, very fortunate uh, to be here at this school. It's a great opportunity. Um, just a couple of quick remarks about Arbor Day. So, you know, you probably sit there and think, well, we live in a city, so why would trees be so important when we're in a city? Like, wouldn't that be a lot more important in Maine or New Hampshire or somewhere? But the truth is that Arbor Day, the celebration of Arbor Day, and our focus on the importance of trees here in the city, trees can even be more important to the quality of life for those of us living in a city like Brockton. We need our green spaces, and we're working real hard to restore green spaces. 
um, trees do a lot of things to help our quality of life here. So, you know, not only do they take carbon dioxide out of the air and make the air better to breathe, but when we think about energy cost and being committed to our environment and trying to reduce our carbon footprint, well, the more trees we have, our buildings become more en energy efficient. They get protection from the sun, from the cooling costs in the summertime, helps protect them from the cold temperatures and the wind in the winter. If you think about the way the wind swirls through the city sometimes when you work through, walk through certain neighborhoods, the trees can actually change the wind patterns uh, within the city. So we really need uh, to, be, to have more trees and to, and to continue to make our city greener, to make it a more livable city and a healthier city in a more fuel efficient city to live in. So it's really important that we have this uh, day each year to really think about the importance of, of what the trees mean in a city like Brockton. And I see why we've got our friends from DCR here and uh, it was just about a week ago we had a big ceremony because Brockton was selected for a program from the state called Greening the Gateway. And we kicked off what's going to be a three year program where um, we're going to plant 2,400 trees in the city over the next three years, 800 trees per year, and all in one section of the city. So over the years, putting 2,400 new trees in the city is really going to make a difference. It's going to build this green canopy over that entire part of the city that's going to make it a nicer place to live, a healthier place to live, a more energy efficient place to live. So we really have to have this c commitment to not just us being a green community, but having more green spaces and being more environmentally aware as we try to have a sustainable city in the future. So this, this is really important that we take the time to really think about the role of trees here in the city. So along those lines, uh, as the mayor, I brought a proclamation from the city of Brockton today. So, this is official, and Ms. Nessar, I'm going to present this to you in a minute, but let me read the proclamation so everyone can uh, know what it says. It says, whereas in 1872, J. Sterling Morton proposed to the Nebraska Board of Agriculture that a special day be set aside for planting trees. Whereas this holiday called Arbor Day was first observed with the planting of more than a million trees in Nebraska, and whereas Arbor Day is now recognized throughout the world and whereas trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling cost, moderate the temperature, clean the air, produce life-saving oxygen, and provide habitat for wildlife. And whereas trees are a renewable resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products, and whereas trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. And whereas trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. Now, therefore, be it resolved that I, Bill Carpenter, as mayor of the city of Brockton, do hereby proclaim April 28th as Arbor Day. And we urge all residents of the city of Brockton to celebrate this day. And I'd like to present the official proclamation uh, to Miss Nesrala as the Pliff School is hosting our Arbor Day celebration this year. Miss <laughs> Kearley and the chorus, along with Mr. Reese, have prepared a song, Everybody's Free to Feel Good, from Romeo and Ju Juliet. I believe you're going to be blown away. Ms. Kearley, if you could. Everybody's free.
Mr. Reese and Chorus, that was amazing. Give them another round of applause, please. That was simply amazing. Please welcome Ms. Pamela Gurley from the Planning Department of Brockton to the podium. Good morning, everyone. It's much easier to be awarded a Tree City designation if you're living in a rural community, a farm community, and not an urban community like Brockton. However, this is our 20th consecutive year that we've had an Arbor Day celebration, and for the past 19 years, we've been recognized as a Tree City. And I'm hoping with this celebration that it'll be our 20th. I want to congratulate you all for being chosen this year and hope that you enjoy watching your trees grow and change over the years. There's a lot of people that are involved in putting this together outside of just your school, and I just want to thank a couple of them. I want to thank Mayor Carpenter for continuing the tradition of holding this celebration at a school. I want to thank Ken Thompson and his staff for the help outside planting, and of course, I want to thank Kevin O'Gorman from Public Properties, who without this, none of it probably would have happened because he drags me around everywhere. <laughs> thank you. Ms. Creedon, Ms. Roddenbush are a dynamite grade eight English team, and they have students who are going to present a poetry, and it's in aligned with on the doors and windows of the cafeteria, they spend some time decorating um, our school for this auspicious occasion. I'd like to welcome Melvin Abraham, Angelica Campbell, Anaya Robinson Boyd, Vito Rodriguez, Alyssa Gomes, Ali Winkler, Rachel Moyes, Sid Garcia, Ariel LaForest, and Raffinelli Gasson to present. Outside is lively. Step outside, breath of fresh air. Get the sensation. I am very tall. You need me to live. Sometimes I fall, sometimes I shake. Why don't you love me? Just show me love. No, let me be my love for trees. I am there for shade. When you need it, I will never tell you to be it. You always cut me, you beat me up, but I'll still protect you no matter what trees. Nature is a cycle. It goes on and on. It will come and go. It can help you and it can hurt you. Let every, yet everyone loves nature. The leaves were soft like silk. Seashells were sold by the seashore and the yellow flowers are brighter than the sun. The cold, crispy air makes leaves fall everywhere, causing nature to die. Look, the rays of sun kiss the trees, the waves pitter-patter over the sea. Do you see it? The clouds floating across the sky, the birds flying way up high. If you look real close, you'll hear the trees screaming bursts of color, bright yellows and greens. 
If you stand real close, you'll hear the sky calling up, telling the birds to fly. Now do you see it? <laughs> Leaves spiraling down, flowers sprouting from the ground, birds creating sound. Lions roar as gazelles take a detour, birds soar while insects are hidden from above forevermore. As time passes, the population decreases and darkness approaches. Nature is unpredictable and not always good, but not always bad. Nature always sings a song. When the wind blows, a song unfolds. It's a wonderful sound, especially when the trees flow. <laughs> Help to see the sun rise and to see the clouds block the sun. I'd also like to see the beauty of Brockton and to see the tall trees, green leaves, and ha busy people of Brockton. Most importantly, I'd like to see the beauty of Plough Academy. I'd, I am proud to be part of this school. Snow melts, well, snow falls and melts away. Pretty flowers come to stay. Spring is here, hooray. <laughs> Thank you so much, that was awesome. Get another round of applause, please. Thank you. Please welcome Miss Judy Sullivan, Ward 5 School Committee, to the podium. Ms. Sullivan. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for inviting me here from the school committee. I just want to tell you a little bit about what the school committee does, in case you don't know, that they work with the school department and your principals and your teachers to make sure that you all have a great day. And I think that this program is a great program for you to celebrate the earth and it's all the green um, environment things that Mayor Carpenter talked about is really important. Um, so, I thank you for inviting me, and I wish you a happy Arbor Day. At school, we're really fortunate to have a very strong world language program. And part of that program involves the two-way program from the time students are in kindergarten all the way up through high school. Um, they are taught in a dual language, and here we're proud to host the citywide Spanish two-way program. And here to recite a poem, which by the way um, is written on the back of the program, Let's Plant the Tree, in Spanish, is grade six student Andre Arzeno. Please give him a nice round of applause. Abramos la tierra, plantemos el árbol, será nuestro amigo y aquí crecerá. Y un día vendremos buscando su abrigo, y flores y frutas y sombra dará. El cielo benigno de riego a su planta, el sol de septiembre le dé su calor, la tierra su jugo dará sus raíces y tenga sus hojas verdura y frescor. Plantemos el árbol, el árbol amigo, sus ramas frondosas aquí extenderá y un día vendremos buscando sus flores y sombras y frutas y flores darán. <laughs> Andre, that was spectacular. Thank you so much. You know, nothing gets done without behind the scenes people. Deputy Superintendent Michael Thomas is one of those people. He gets things done with Brockton Public Schools. Give him a nice round of applause. Thank you, Ms. Nazarella. As always, um, good. It's great being here at the Plouffe School. Every celebration that you do here with uh, Mr. Westcott and your wonderful staff and the group of students is always amazing. You did a magnificent job. Um, quickly, I want to thank the mayor. I met with Matt from the DCR, 
Um, this past week, as the mayor included the schools in the planting of some of the 2,400 trees, which will really be beneficial to the school department. I also want to say that I grew up in a, a time where I could never stay inside. My father would see me sitting around and throw me outside. So I, would, uh, I grew up about, about five minutes from here. So this is pretty much just like my neighborhood. So I grew up growing, playing in these fields, playing in the basketball courts at Plymouth Street with my friends, swimming in the pool. So as we start what it looks to be a great weekend coming up of nice weather, get outside, enjoy what Brockton has to offer, the outside space that has been provided by the city and the hard work of the workers that keep the playgrounds neat and clean in the space that you have to play in. So get outside this weekend, enjoy it, and thank you for having me. And again, you guys do an amazing job at all these presentations that you do. Thank you. Along with a strong Spanish program for world language, we're blessed to have a team of Chinese teachers who by the end of sixth grade, students are writing paragraphs using Chinese characters, explaining about themselves, their lives. It's amazing. After 10 years, I still can't read even one character. I'm embarrassed to say that. But we are blessed to have Mrs. Klein, who has prepared students to recite in English and Chinese and to sing it a poem entitled Spring Down, Avery Duggan, Jane Louis, Ava Robinson, Jessica Nguyen, Caleb Tabush, Aminata Connie, Sophia Shelley Weiss, Erickson Petit, Leah Spinola, and Taylin Barbosa. Please come on up. Beautiful. <clears throat> Just as Mr. Thomas is the behind the scenes man for Brockton Public Schools, we have our own behind the scenes person. Nothing gets done without his presence here and his passion and his love of all of you. Mr. Eric Westcott, our assistant principal. <clears throat> Arbor Day is observed throughout the nation and the world. Why is Arbor Day important, you may ask? 
Abba Day is a special day that is set aside throughout the world to raise awareness of trees and the important role that they play in our environment. Trees can reduce the erosion of our precious topsoil by wind and water, cut heating and cooling costs, moderate the temperatures, clean the air, produce live, life-giving oxygen and provide habitat for wildlife. Trees are a renewable resource giving us paper, wood for our homes, fuel for our fires, and countless other wood products. The trees in our city increase property values, enhance the economic vitality of business areas, and beautify our community. Trees, wherever they are planted, are a source of joy and spiritual renewal. The Pluff community is extremely excited to participate in this annual tradition and to add two new trees to our grounds. We would like to thank Ms. Pam Pamela Gurley from the Planning Department for donating these beautiful trees to our school. We would also like to thank B Brockton Public Schools Outdoor Grounds crew, Planning Department, and the staff and manager, and manager Sophia Donovan of Home Depot on Crescent Street for their ongoing support. Thank you for participating in the Pluff Academy's 2017 Arbor Day celebration. Have a great day and a wonderful weekend. Join us here. You can see this is one of the two trees that we've planted here this year as uh, Cliff hosting our Arbor Day celebration for us. And these represent other trees that will be planted all across the city and even at some of the other schools. So because this is a special day here at the Pluff, we have a couple of presentations we'd like to make. The first one is, we have a hat for our principal, Ms. Nesrala, and it says Tree City USA because Brockton is recognized as a tree city, and so we want to present this to your principal for hosting us here today. Oh, thank you. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good on her, huh? Yeah. Now, we also have a very special presentation for the school, for all of you here at Pluff Academy. So I'm going to ask Mrs. Sullivan. There you are, right here. So we're going to try to get her to help me spread this out so everybody can see it. You guys spread it this way. I'll get right behind here with you. It says Tree City USA, Arbor Day Foundation, and this is going to be presented here to Pluff Academy to stay here at your school because you hosted our special Arbor Day celebration today. So this is for Pluff Academy, and we'll give it to Principal Nesrala, but it really is for all of you. Thank you.